Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your September 2019, uh, your mid-September, <laughs> mid-September 2019 general reading. Um, I want to thank everyone who supports the channel. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. There is a sale on the 20 minute video recorded readings. Take advantage of that if you are able. It's $25. Um, but the extended, I think, I never really do extended for Gemini, but I'm, I think this will be extended for some reason. I don't know, Spirit needs to tell you something. Who came out off camera? was the death card and the queen of pentacles i don't know if you need to release a particular person someone who has you have a child with someone who, this could be like a spoiled individual someone you put up on a pedestal at one time someone who you have obligation to or with it might be the child if there is a child involved uh it says take time for friends and family your answers are going to come from being around people who actually love and like you somebody doesn't like this person that maybe you need to release or have some transformative uh uh energy around you guys need to transform the relationship uh this could be a person you're married to there's some obligation here uh, this could be a materialistic person. They, they don't necessarily have to be. This could be a homemaker also. Someone who doesn't work. Okay, Gemini. This could be you. It could be you. You need to release something or somebody's trying to release you. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how the person that you're coming to this reading for, Gemini, how they view you. How does the person that Gemini is coming to the reading for how they view the Gemini. They view you as the queen of fire. So they see you as um, maybe independent, creative, confident, uh, graceful, witty. You could be funny. You could be very into um, the law of attraction, attracting what it is you want. You could be Sometimes the Queen of Wands is about self, um, you know, propelling self forward. They can see you as, you know, really worried about self and maybe even business venture, pushing something forward. You're doing right now, right? They see you as the magician. Um, they see that you have the resources available to you to make something really big. To make something happen. Um, to push something forward. Once again, law of attraction. Um, you you have that magical touch. They could see you as being magical. You could do some type of magic work. Fire magic. Candle magic. There could be lots of prayers. Um they see you as moving and embarking on something. They see you as having the idea and now putting everything in order to make it come to fruition. Six of water, they see you as um, something about children, back to children. Um, you may deal with the children, you're at home with the children. Something about memories of the past, of your own childhood. You could be thinking about what is useful, what is not. What um, you could be thinking. They could see you also on your on your God-given path is what I'm hearing. They could see you as having some skills, some nature about yourself that has been with you since the beginning of your life. Um, how you've honed that craft of something unique to you some skill unique to you they see you as um, yeah you you have a sense of usefulness in your life you found where it is you um, what you do matters 
They see you as maybe even a good Samaritan. They see you as having a good heart. Let's see. Ooh, the devil. They see you as um and that's funny because before the shuffle a woman who is or could be materialistic and that's coming up with the devil someone too focused on the on material gains that maybe you have some negative or fear-based thoughts um you you have this false sense of entrapment or enclosure to codependency you can't do it on your own or you need this or somehow you feel as if you le you lead or you live some team life no we live our own life individual to each other you don't li live a team life you don't have a team of people i mean you're like some some of you have more than one person you're dealing with and you get you get this from that person and that from this person and i don't know um they see you as yeah um maybe not always not always making the best choices the devil card can be about choices too um you could be with a capricorn your person views you as a mixed bag right page of air they view you as honest logical um frank very being very frank you say what it is you you mean and you mean what you say they may see you as having some delays here um in regards to making something happen in regards to putting energy effort time into gathering information getting information or they may see you eager to learn and study and get under some leadership some apprenticeship uh, curious definitely once again that death card they see you as something ending spiritual transformation or are you knowing that it's, it's it's time to move on they could see you as spying as trying to gather information because you know that something is ending it has been ending something is over they they see you as having options or creating options the ten of fire just flipped out they see you as um having a lot of work that maybe you need to accept some help from others that your life is out of balance there may be stress stress related health concerns um, they could see you as carrying a secret they could see you as carrying too much they could see you as carrying what is burdensome they could see you as not wanting to release how does this person view the Gemini Queen of Water they could see you as being tender-hearted empathetic that for some of you some relationship is going to the next level that only if you trust your intuition um, that you need to care for yourself or maybe you're taking on too much you're doing too much they could see you as um, emotionally stable right now they could see I'm here that anything can throw you off balance or throw you out of stability they could see you as uh, you know you like life's luxuries you you might be spending some time alone and that you at this point you could be having some really successful um, self-employment you're really putting a lot of energy effort time into learning and cultivating your business yourself your business savvy you could be joining in groups you could be going to seminars you could be doing so much you have a plan and you are making it happen let's see how you view this person Gemini 
how do, do you view your person that you're coming to so it's a mixed bag here and some of them and this could be different Gemini's or this could be the twins right um, sometimes you're nice sometimes you not so nice um, they they view you as a, yeah definitely a mixed bag um, some of you needing to release something okay how you view your person nine of cups eight of cups five of wands you view your person as wish fulfillment they make your dreams your wishes come true what you what you say is what you get with them they're very kind they're very giving it's a lot of alcohol here a lot of cups here I don't know um, you may view your person as a person does partake in the spirits often we'll say that um, you may view this person as you guys are apart you might want to return you have your own reasoning they don't know that you want to return you have not let in on that you're at the point of needing to have the strength to even to even return to because there's inner conflict here with the five of wands because you have you feel like your person has options or they have a lot of suitors uh, you also could want to restart the, the love here you want marriage here um, but there's conflict in regards to this love affair this off and on again love affair there was drama here there was someone you or they who played childish games mind games um, there was a bit of romance and intimacy good sex here but at the same time um, there is a need for or not even a need you feel like there's a an evaluation process or you, before you return you got to deal with that conflict. Eight of Wands came out. You may want to push this forward. You may want to communicate with this person. I don't know if you will. Um, you need it. Once again, it's about having the strength to do so. The courage to do so in regards to um, communicating with this person. In regards to talking about maybe the trouble and the jealousy that lied in the relationship or that lies within the relationship if you are already in relationship uh, you may want to have some loving communication but it looks like you you've got to get through the talk first um, you're okay all right yeah you um, You want to talk this out with this person. You want to communicate with this person because you don't want it to be more of the same. You also aren't sure if they will take to an offer of yours. Or they, they, I'm hearing they've heard it all before. This could be you, Gemini. This could be the other person. Um, they're too concerned with the fact that it just didn't get out of the creation phase before. They don't know if they want to uh, reestablish this foundation reestablish this relationship reestablish anything here uh, the cards also could be cautioning you stop thinking about this relationship understand that maybe you need to put a little bit more self-care in um, this is how you're viewing a person you want them to take to an offer but maybe they, they're concerned about themselves yeah they somebody's concerned about work doing work creating something how you view them is that they're, they're, they might not take to your offer because they're too concerned about work they may have a, other options they're in the creation phase of or the rebuilding phase of they could be doing some really high-end skill type work they could also be um, listening to friends and or family. I'm here sitting in seminars. Uh, uh, this is a person who they also may be dealing with childhood. This also, yeah, 
I think both of you are in the phase of creating something for yourself. Um, being confident, outgoing, trying to make something happen. This is a person, how you view them is trying to get something together. They're doing, they're concerned with the doing and the building of, uh, they may even be concerned with work and contracts, legalities, yeah. They may be trying to put some stuff together. You see them as very perceptive, maybe as they see you also. You see them as very magical, it's just with the black cat. Um, this is a person who could experience a level of uh, prosperity now or in the near future. Let's see. Seven of Swords. You see this person as revising plans in regards to maybe what they were trying to get off the ground. You see them moving. You see them making swift moves. You see them moving away from ties or partnership or business yeah you see them moving away from or sneaking away from a connection a relationship a contract a marriage you see them as doing something very sneaky or underhanded or just having plans, making plans behind closed doors. This person could be putting money somewhere else. This person could be engaging in a love affair behind. You see them doing something. Okay. You see them as making a choice to put themselves first. You see them as getting a lot of attention propelling themselves first, self-promotion, concerned about self, health, and the fitness of of life and, and um, what's useful for them and what's not useful. You see them as giving a message of maybe going into a new direction, learning something new, being eager to expand, to leave some type of partnership behind. We got Again, someone's leaving two swords. Someone's leaving two wands. You see them as eager to expand. Five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They have lack of confidence in something or some relationship, some committed relationship, some union, some institution. You see them as feeling left out in the cold. You, feel, you see them as needing something or needy or needing money or you see them as proud hmm you see them as having maybe some uncertain self-employment here you see them as needing to take help from un from others let's see what is the advice in regards to Gemini dealing with this person. The advice for Gemini. Um, you might be in love with a person who walked away from you or who was walking away from you or like you or you walked away from them you feel like they were well-meaning but very immature you you might want to rekindle the love the advice for you is to rekindle the love uh, make the decision to even in the midst of opposition make the decision to evaluate a relationship marriage contract uh, 
You move forward, take control. You're secretly admiring someone. You don't know where they stand with you. You want to return to them. Return. You want to return after heartbreak, disappointment, divorce, separation. But there's problems in this marriage. Second marriage, second relationship. There might be some good Samaritan that gives you some advice in regards to this connection about a masculine energy, about fulfilling your long term goals, about gaining more fame, recognition. And yeah. It's going to be, for some of you, it's really good news in regards to business, long-term goal fulfillment, the culmination of maybe you doing some work, your efforts paying off. There may be a pause here. For some of you, this is, um, you want to return to someone. What is this about for the Gemini? Maybe baby news, good news, coming in money news. Take the next step now. Yeah, um, body changes. Yeah, some of you could be pregnant or trying to get pregnant, grief work. Or some of you are heartbroken some things didn't turn out in the manner that you thought they would. Seeking and finding. We saw that with the Page of Swords. How your person thinks of you maybe as a spy. You do know what you are seeking. Is looking for you also. There might be some family changes. A baby. Um, an announcement of someone being pregnant. An announcement of a divorce, separation of an uh, engagement, uh, family changes constitute so many different things. Buying a home, selling a home, someone moving in, moving out. Uh, I mean, it could be almost anything. Self employment is highlighted here for some of you. Self employment is going well for some of you. Keep at it, uh, keep seeking and finding knowledge in regards to how to cultivate more. Um, knowledge about your business, how to grow the business, and so forth. Um, I don't think I'm going to do an extended. This was pretty good for the mid-month. If you want to return to someone, return. Um, what's the worst you can hear? No? Okay. Be ready for no. Be more ready for yes. Um... In regards to some of you having problems in your marriage, it looks like someone is contemplating divorce or separation or it already has happened. What is, what? okay, all right. So those contemplating divorce or separation, let me have to say, because that was kind of a mixed bag there. Um, Six of Cups again. Something about needing to uh, analyze, you know, the history of the relationship. Analyze um, and find balance here. There might be someone giving more than the other. Something's out of balance, out of whack. Somebody's not feeling like they're useful or a sense of usefulness of this relationship. So here's the advice. Um, grief counseling go to a therapist go to a counselor go to marriage counseling right um really think pray meditate in regards to making some huge decision about your foundation your relationship your home uh maybe in regards to the children 
um, in, in regards to, you know, uprooting yourself. Stop pretending as if there is no problem. And that, you know, you'll just find peace in the pretending. These fell out. Um, either it's ending and it's over. Okay, I just heard, stop pretending like it's not over. If you need truth or clarity about someone wanting something to be over, ask for that. Ask for truth and clarity. Where do I stand with you? Where do we stand in this relationship, this marriage, this contract? Your, your actions are showing that we're at a standstill, we're at a pause. Maybe we should be further along in our marriage than this. We keep dealing with this, whatever this may be. The Queen of Cups, you could deal with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is typically Cancer. Um, don't assume anything. Someone's being... Queen of Cups again. Someone's being very stable. Two queens here. Could be same sex. Somebody is making a decision to say, I, myself, somebody's doing something for self. Taking the pentacle and this is my stability is elsewhere card. This is somebody taking the pentacle. Could be you, Gemini. Someone's making a life altering decision in regards to maybe two people. Maybe two ways of making money or something about a relationship and love, love and career. Some hard time is over. Some yeah, and then the six of swords. Someone is taking the child and going somewhere else. Someone threatens to take the child. Could be Capricorn. Someone makes it hell living in the home because maybe they're all about money. Once again, we have some, somebody's also trying to change career paths and they're doing it rather quickly. Um, woo. Ooh, child. It's a little bit better than normal Gemini readings. I mean, you guys have a lot of energy, a lot of people around, a lot going for you, a lot of successful self-employment, which is great. It's always great. Um, you may be dealing with a situation in your home where it is out of balance. It is off kilter. It's out of whack. Someone's making a decision in regards to an ending they're tired. I'm hearing tired, fed up. They don't want to hear it anymore. Something about money and usefulness. Usefulness and money. I don't know. Uh, Gemini, I hope the best for you. I hope that you got something from this reading. You're able to find some peace and solace in, in your own life. Okay? Thank you, Gemini. All links be are below if you want to book your own reading there. Take care. Bye.